Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Lin and for today's video, I'm going to discuss the second topic under living things and their environment. So last time, I talked about the different habitat of the animals and for today, I'm going to discuss the adaptation of plants. So adaptation of plants, plants have adaptations to help them survive. Survive means to say to live and grow in different areas so adaptations are special features that allow a plant or animal to live in a particular place or habitat okay so these adaptations might be very difficult for the plant to survive in a different place okay so this explains why plants are found in one area but not in another for example, you wouldn't see a cactus living in the Arctic, nor would you see a lot of really tall trees living in grasslands. Okay, so I'm going to show different uh, kinds of plants and let's find out how these plants adapt to its environment. Okay, the first plant is water mimosa water mimosa okay so how does the water mimosa adapt to its environment okay so water mimosa has a sponge cover on its stem that helps it to float on water okay so that is the stem of the water mimosa okay so the next plant is okay what do you think is this what is the name of this plant okay so this plant is called water hyacinth water hyacinth okay so how does the water hyacinth adapt to its environment okay water hyacinth has a bulb like stalk with a lot of air gaps that helps it to float okay so that is how the stalk look like okay so it's like a bulb okay so the next plant is okay lotus lotus okay so by the way the plants that live and grows in water are called aquatic plants so we have the water mimosa water hyacinth and the lotus so how does the lotus adapt to its environment okay so lotus is a plant with large flat leaves and a hollow stem that makes it light and easier to float on water okay so that is the flat leaves and that is the hollow stem next plant is baobab baobab okay so how does the baobab adapt to its environment okay so this plant grows in deserts it stores a lot of water in its trunk. It has long roots to absorb more water deep below the ground. Okay, so that is the trunk of the baobab. So the water is being stored in here. Okay, the next plant is cactus. Cactus. Okay, so how does the cactus adapt to its environment? Okay, so this plant grows well in dry areas and in deserts. It has thick stem for storing water. Its leaves grow in needle shapes to lower water loss. Okay, so that is the thick stem of the cactus. Okay, so next plant is mangrove trees. Mangrove trees. Okay, so last time I discussed to you about the mangrove forest, right? So it's one of the habitat of the animal. So these are the mangrove trees. Okay, so how does the mangrove trees adapt to its environment? Okay, so it has the prop roots for its support since it grows in coastal areas. Some parts of its roots are above the ground to take in air when the soil is covered with sea water okay so these are the roots of the mangrove trees so 
As you can see, these plants use their leaves, trunk, stem, and roots to survive. Okay, so what are the plants that use their leaves, trunk, stem, and roots to survive? Okay, let's. So, leaves we have the lettuce, trunk we have the baobab, stem we have the cactus and we have the mangrove trees okay so i hope you learned something in this video thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe bye